Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech. Today in this video I am going to show you, how to install Red Hat Linux 8.3 on VMware. First of all I will create new virtual machine on VMware. Click on file, click create new virtual machine. Click next. Select I will install the operating system later then click next. Select Linux under guest operating system. Select version Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8x64 bit. Click next. Fill virtual machine name, if you want change default virtual machine name type new name under virtual machine name, in my case I will leave as default. As you can see virtual machine default location, if you cannot change default location so leave as default, but in my case I will change virtual machine default location. Click browse. Drag down little bit. I have stored all virtual machine in VM folder under D drive. Click make new folder. I have set my VM folder name is, RHEL, 8.3 at VM. Click OK. Click Next. Set disk space, I will set 80 GB space of this virtual machine. Click Next. As you can see, this is our virtual machine configuration. I want some more change in this machine. Click on Customize Hardware. I will increase a VM memory, I will assign 4 GB memory in this machine. Select Processor. I will assign number of processors to. And also assign number of cores per processors to. Click close. Click on finish. Our virtual machine is created. I have downloaded our HEL 8.3 ISO file. So I can provide the path of this ISO file to boot our virtual machine. Double click on CD DVD. Click use ISO image file. Click browse. Click downloads. As you can see, this is our RHEL 8.3 ISO file image. Click open. Click OK. Click power on this virtual machine. Let's maximize it. Select install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.3. Then press enter. Select language, in my case I will choose English, English India. Click continue. Click Installation Destination. Select Disk. Choose Automatic Under Storage Configuration. Click Done. Click on Time and Date. I will choose Indian Time Standard. Click Done. Click Software Selection. Our base environment is server with GUI. I will select the additional software for selected environment, this means if you want add some additional package at the time of installation you can choose on this package list. I will choose, Windows File Server, FTP Server, drag down little bit, Network File System Client, Network Servers, Remote Desktop Client, Drag down little bit. Basic web server. Drag down little bit. Select .NET Core Development. Select Graphical Administration Tools. Drag down little bit. Select System Tools. Select Remote Management for Linux. Select file and storage server. 
so I will select it to all additional software, click done. Click on root password. Set root password. Click done. Click on begin installation. Installation in progress. After installation is complete, click reboot system. Click license information. Click I accept the license agreement. Click done. Click user creations. Fill user full name. Fill user password. Fill confirm password. Click done. Click subscription manager. If you have an activation key to activate the Red Hat Linux, in my case I will skip subscription manager. Click done. Click finish configuration. Log on as user. Fill Rohit user password then click sign in. As you can see this is our Red Hat Linux desktop. See, welcome message on desktop. And it is asking to select language settings, in my case I will leave as default because it have already selected English India. Click next. Select keyboard layout, it's already selected English India with rupees. Click next. Privacy settings, leave as default. Click next. Connect your online account. In my case I will leave as default. Click on skip. Click start using Red Hat Enterprise Linux. This page is open regarding GNOME help, how to perform common task videos. I will close this console. So in this video you can learn how to install Red Hat Linux 8.3. Installation step by step on VMware. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.